Hey, this is Cowboy. And of course, you guys know that we build some of the most beautiful bars, finish out some of the most beautiful houses in Metro Atlanta. Metro Atlanta, what am I talking about? We're working all over the country right now. Today, we're in Marietta, Georgia. We're at a home here in West Cobb. And uh, you know, there's some beautiful homes in West Cobb and some beautiful people too. And today, what I'm gonna show you is one of the bars that we've done. Now, normally we're doing like these big giant bars, restaurants and things like that, that we're known for. But today, this is a special project because we've got a wine cellar in a closet. Come on in, let's go check it out. We're here in the basement now, so we might want to put a little light on the situation. So let's turn it up. Uh, let's see what we got here. All right, so of course, you guys know that we're like seriously famous for our bars, right? Let's put a little light on in here. Let's get, <laughs> watch me now. This, this is how you come in. You, have, you know, you have to get the light on the situation. A little, mm -hmm. little light in here. Can you see that bar pretty good? Mm -hmm. All right, good. So everybody knows that we're famous for our bars, right? This is a six foot bar in a home with a single foot rest. It's got the LED lights underneath. It's also got the polyurethane on the top. Nice little back bar. This was actually with the home when we came here. But the color of the back bar wasn't the exact color that the customer wanted. They wanted something that actually matched our style or that rustic style. So what we did was we took these cabinets. They actually originally had doors on them. We removed the doors and we actually put these inlaid pallets on the back and we trimmed it in natural poplar wood, which I thought was a really cool feature. So we took some existing cabinets and basically just upgraded the cabinets and turned it into more like shelving rather than the traditional doors. Came out really nice, matches the back bar very nicely as well. Now, those two features are cool, but as you probably know, we're real famous for putting together our our um, wine cellars and we love doing wine cellars the fancy ones and stuff in all the big houses now, of course this is not a little house that we're in but they had a small amount of room that they wanted to play with because the owner wanted his own wine cellar so what we did was we custom made these beautiful doors these are about eight foot doors uh, we custom made these doors now this looks like something you buy at home depot or somewhere like, like that but that's not the case these are all handmade every piece of this door is handmade from the handles right down to the uh the design work on 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 the uh doors now this is radiata pine radiata is just kind of a, a mid-grade plywood if you would it's three quarter inch thick but it makes great barn doors because it's very straight you get a very straight line so the door hangs nice and plumb, as you can tell. But what we did to really upgrade this door was, in addition to the stain, we actually routed out a special geometric pattern to give it a really modern look to the door on the door as well. We stained the entire door with the styles and the rails, one color. This is a dark walnut from Minwax. Great product, by the way, great oil content. Uh, and then we came back with a Roman OG router and we routed out the inside of the door down to the natural grain of the wood. Now, most people, when they hear plywood, they hear, oh, plywood, cheap, inexpensive, whatever. You know, it's not true anymore. <laughs> really great plywood can be very, very expensive. And like I said, this is a mid grade, but what I like about it is that the banding on the inside gives it kind of a natural kind of feeling to it as well. And of course, we came in, we installed the track for the barn door as well. This was kind of unique too, because as you can see from this wall here, it has a cutout, right? So there was no way to run the track all the way across without reinforcing the back part of the uh, mounting system. So what we did was we put a, a two by six behind this board here and we attached it to the right side using joist hangers and all kinds of surgery back here to get this to hold up. So this entire track is being supported on the right side and left side of this wall. And this is void on the back. So essentially there's nothing back here, but that two by six, the same stuff you use to hold up a floor in a house uh, or a staircase is back here holding up this door. And, and there's substantially not much less, much, much less weight on it. So it's very strong to make matters you know, uh, simple. But we, we came in, we mounted that track so the door would swing all the way past. Now, 
for the feature, for the feature, and you're gonna like this right here, let me mm -hmm. tell you. Because these barn doors swing all the way to the right to reveal, bam, in closet wine cellar. The first of its kind, ladies and gentlemen, step right up. Oh, <laughs> and some polyurethane too. <laughs> we use only the best from Verethane, right? Well, what we did here was we created what was essentially a small 22 inch closet. We turned it into a full blown wine cellar. And some of the things that I did were really cool here that I think was we went with the, uh, the birch top. So all this is birch. We're using poplar on the edging. We're using a faux background on the back for the backing. So none of that cheeky, you know, imported type of stuff. This is three quarter inch material. In certain places here, we're actually using pine to actually create the uh, bottle holders for the, uh, for the back part of it. And what you see here is essentially, let's count them off. One, two, three, four, five, six components that actually put this all together. So this is kind of like your grandmother's furniture in the way that it's uh, very heavy, um, very uh, substantial in feel, and uh, very high quality because the materials are all made. Every single piece of this is actually using Craig technology, meaning the joinery that we're using in order to bring the pieces together is using Craig technology. It makes joining pieces of wood very, very strong, makes a, a very strong bond, and all of these pieces are fitted together in that way. I wanted to kind of do something a little different that you don't really see a lot in, uh, in, in wine cellars or in back bars or in um, um, you know, rear bar systems. Um, over here on the left, I left this largely opening because I wanted to have the owner have the experience of being able to display as much of their wine collection as they possibly wanted. So we didn't put any doors or anything in here because everybody knows anything behind somebody's door, they never use it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we left it open intentionally because we have these beautiful doors on the front. But you can display bottles of wine here, down on the bottom, and you notice we also brought the backing all the way down to the floor in this bottom unit as well. And then on the, uh, the mid section here, you can actually take a bottle of wine, you can lay it inside of these slots. Notice it's tilted like a, uh, like a candy, uh, a vending machine that you would see in a movie theater. I thought that was pretty cool. Came up with that idea myself. Uh, tilted it towards the front just a little bit. Now you can put the bars in here or your, uh, your wine bottles or what have you in the center there. And then over on the right, of course, What's a wine cellar without a place to hang your glasses? So we designed these custom flutes that are gonna hold the stems of the uh, glasses here. You can slide in there. I think it holds probably about four or five wine glasses on each one of these. And we custom built that and attached it underneath to make it very seamless. You have no idea how tough it is to find these actually in a uh, uh, a, a retail setting like Target or somewhere. It's really hard. You can order them on Amazon, but rather than order that stuff on Amazon, we custom made it just for this bar. And we installed it into the system, into the, uh, the right side of the shelving. Uh, in the middle here, we're known for our floating shelves. Everybody knows about our floating shelves, but we took some micro versions of it, left them very rustic to kind of give it that French country, in the countryside kind of aged look to it. And we mounted those in the center here for each one. This is actually like, and then uh, for our final installation, something that we don't do a lot of because we do it on our bars mostly, but I wanted to change the lighting in here because they had some incandescent lighting inside of this uh, closet before. So we changed it to an LED lighting track. And this is a very new technology that's coming, that's, that's recently come out. And the uh, supplier of it uh, actually gave us a really good deal on it for us to try it in customers' houses but it allows you to change the temperature color of the light so you can change it to like a, a very bright white or you can dim it down to almost a uh, 400 degree Kelvin yellow light. Uh, looks very nice. And then to, uh, to control that light system, we had an existing outlet that was on the inside so we simply plugged it in. And then what we did was, if you can swing around over here, was we custom mounted the uh, lighting system on the wall over here and it comes with a remote. Here's, here's the remote. The remote is right here. The remote is right here. Yeah, there, there you go. There you go. <laughs> the remote is right here, and it's mounted on the wall. 
Bam. So from here, you can point it back towards the light system and you can play with it all you want, turn it on and off, what have you. Really high sense, as you can tell, very nice technology and you didn't have to do a whole lot of wiring for it, but uh, be mindful. It's a little pricey, but it's worth it. All right, so now that you've seen our bar for West Cobb and Marietta, we just wanna remind you that uh, we do all kinds of bars. That's really our sweet spot, both residential and commercial, and we'll be glad to service your account as well. Because remember, at Cowboy Bills, we always do rustic right.